Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson and in this case we're still busy with the forum and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of rank to the user. Right, so if the user is between a certain amount of points, then we can actually calculate what the rank should be and just display it accordingly. So in this case, I'm just using a couple of simple army ranks. So in this case, this person will be a recruit because their points are less than 100. Above that is sergeant or whatever the case may be. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing in this one. So just expect a couple of videos going forward where we're just going to add just more functionality and things to the forum as well. So I obviously want to finish the search uh, topic one uh, when you can be able to search any discussions right here. Right, so in any case, let's get started. Right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the view where we're actually displaying the profile. So we go to resources, views, um, pages, profile dot show. It is this one right here. And underneath there, I just want to create a div and I want to create an H2 tag. And I just want to display the user's current points. So let's just go to user and we just want to get their current points. So let me just obviously add the blade syntax. Just want to add that user and we just want to get their current points right now this current points just to show you let's open up our user model right our current points our current points in our user model right here if we see we bring in a has points trade right here so if we open up that trade right there then we will see we got our current points right here so basically that will get the current points this one right here okay so basically if we call on that we need one will basically see how many points the current user has all right so let's quickly view that in the browser all right so as i refresh you can see the users called 50 points right there okay so let me just quickly style that all right so only thing that i will do in this case i'll just give it a class of Font, uh, let's say semi bold, not completely bold. Right now, the thing is, I want to get basically the rank of the user. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another method called get rank or uh, user rank. Let's just get just call it rank. Right, so in this case, let's go to our hash points trade right here and let's create another public function. All right, and this one is that the rank that I'm actually calling on in this. Let me just remove that. Calling on in this, basically the user rank. Okay, so let's go to our trade again. In this case, what I want to do, I just want to get the current points of the user. Now the current points is going to equal equal to this current points now basically this just refers to this current points right there and so let's just add that now i'm just going to create a couple of if statements all right so if the current points is equal to let's say or equal to less than or equal to let's say 100 okay let's do it like that then we're just going to return the recruit, the rank like that. Okay. Now you could have obviously used a different statement, or so however you want to. I'm just going to make create, let's say, five ranks in this case. So in this case, the next one will be call from. Okay, and this one will be sergeant. One will be first sergeant. Okay, and then last one, master sergeant. You can obviously um, create the ranks however you want. Okay, this is just for an example. So between zero and a hundred, basically, the points is for recruit. That next one will be five hundred. We make this one a thousand. This one 4,000, and this one maybe 
10 first. This is an example. Okay. So this so now if we call on this rank right here, so if we change the we already changed it, so we call on the user rank, it needs to show basically whatever rank that user. Alright, so if we refresh, you can see we got basically the user is now a recruit right there. Okay, so that's basically how we can actually display ranks. Now, there's other things that you can do as well. You can add images. So in this case, I could have added like a rank with just the um, upper uh, up arrow or something like that, just to kind of display the different ranks with images. It doesn't matter. All right, so that's it. I'm just going to do little shorts like this for the forum series while I'm busy with any other ones as well because one of my philosophies is finish what you start so that I like to kind of just finish the work I started to do so I'll just finish up the forum as time goes on so obviously there's some users that don't want to view anything anymore um, but I still want to add a little bit things here and there to kind of finish it up and just make it look nice so especially the popular so in the next Probably one of the things that I want to add as well is if the user wants to mark a solution, let's say he's got a discussion there and there's someone actually replied something that he wanted to to know or a best answer in this case, he can choose that one as the uh, solution for his problem. And then, yeah, we can do something like that as well. And then obviously assign uh, more points to ever get a solution. And when it's unmarked, we remove the points like with the same way we did when we create a firm or delete the firm and stuff. All right, so that's kind of a short one. All right, so where we can add a little bit of the ranks. You can decide whatever rank you do. You can use levels, level one to level one, level two, level three, until level. In case of Laracast, they use go to up to level 50. You can do whatever you want in that case. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. Um, if you don't like it, please give it a dislike. All right. So this is kind of what I want to do for those guys that still want to learn a little bit more on the forum side. So there's just extra little nuggets that I'm just going to add going forward in this one. All right. So don't expect the regular uploads in this one. Okay. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Adios.